What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, a series on my channel where every Tuesday I break down at least two tricks and I'll tell you what's up with them. And so today what we're looking at is the double throw bar spin. Now what you're going to need for this trick is two things. One, you're probably going to need a good enough headset, straight up. And two, you're going to need patience. Now this trick I could do them, but I only have them dialed flat. I can barely do them over a box, air out, or anywhere else other than flat, really. But I know how to do them. And it's essentially just having a good enough headset to throw your bars enough to where they're gonna do two spins to where you're gonna catch them again and get back on the scooter. Now the key to doing this trick is of course the headset to have the spins going around but the real key to it is knowing when that two spins is over and when to catch the bars again. And since of course this is a double throw bar you're not gonna be handing the bar spins off to each other so you're gonna be straight throwing two of them and just hoping that you had to to land back on. Now we can eliminate the hoping part now if you actually get the movement down of throwing two, catching it, two, I even missed it there. But it's gonna be one of those things that you're gonna to have to sit there and almost get the muscle memory down of how many two bar spins is on your scooter. Because every scooter is gonna feel different whether you have wider bars, you have really narrow bars, or even your bar height might play into it. Like whether your bars are like you're hunched over or a good posture. And then the type of bar is also gonna play into that too. Like I have titanium bars, so they're super light, they flex, but as far as the weight to them, they're not really good for double throw bars because they don't come around enough. Now I have plastic bar ends on the end, so it kind of helps a little bit to get the weight on each side. But if you have steel bars, your bar spins are gonna come around so much more easier, and that double throw bar, you're probably gonna have more control on. And then next down from that is aluminum, and then below that is titanium. So steel bar, aluminum, titanium, and that's a scale for how easy it's gonna be to throw them and have control over your double throw bar. Now, it can still be done with titanium or whatever bar, doesn't matter, but it's just about getting the two bar spin really good, knowing where that's at, and then catching it from there. So I'm gonna do a couple flat. One more good one. Guess appearance. There we go, caught that one. But literally, it's gonna be about patience because I can't tell you how many times I've just smacked my hands. It hurts so much on these. So be patient with it because it's gonna take time of sitting there and doing movements of double throw bars to understand when this double bar is actually done, you can catch the bar spin again. All of that's gonna take time. So sit there, do some muscle movements, just throw the bar spin around, try to catch it, try to get that down. Just a bunch of attempts like this. It's really good to just practice the double throw bar. And of course, once you got the movement down, you can take it to flat ground, go to your local box, air out wherever. Of course, you know me, I'm gonna be sticking to flat. I literally can't do that trick anywhere else. But hey, that's the point of the video. If I can't do it as well, I can at least tell you guys what's up with it, teach you guys how to do it, maybe you can one-up me. But if you like this video and think it helped you guys out with how to double throw a bar, drop a like on the video and comment down below what you guys want me to do for next Trick Tutorial Tuesdays. Because these videos come out every Tuesday and of course, we're still trying to knock out as many tricks as we can. And subscribe to the channel we come out with videos on the channel every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so you don't want to miss that. And turn on post notifications to never miss out on a single video. And yeah, with all that being said, I think that's the end of the tutorial. So until next trick tutorial Tuesdays, guys, I'll see ya. Peace.